Never in my life did I think that I'd end up in a small town anywhere in America, let alone in the Mississippi Delta. Baptist Town is a 120-year-old African-American neighborhood in the middle of Greenwood, Mississippi. It's a place rich in the blues and civil rights. At the same time, it's a place that has been set apart from the rest of the community and left behind. Imagine having your trash can on the corner and the garbage truck comes but literally goes right by. You then look across the street and you see an abandoned house and you think, no one really cares about us over here. There were street lights that had been shot out. There are community members who didn't know their neighbors. There are lots of things that seem to make the place hopeless. I think people really want to see that strong community again. The Community Development Project is made up of 13 team members who are all Kennedy School, graduate school design, or business school students. And they're all people who have an interest in making a difference in community development work. Throughout history, people have gone to Baptist Town and done studies and surveys. There are these big, big reports, just like thick, a wealth of knowledge, but then nothing ever came out of them. They yelled at us and said, you shouldn't come here, there are enough studies, we're not here just to be studied. We want people to actually come here to make a difference. Don't come, don't even bother coming. I think the biggest difference between the Community Development Project and other organizations is that we're there to listen to people, to figure out what they want, and to help them to help themselves. We literally knocked on every household door and talked to every person who was willing to talk. From two-year-olds that could barely speak, to 85-year-olds who had seen the world. One lady told me when I was talking to her, look across the street. And I looked and she said, it's just depressing waking up every morning to the same abandoned house and nothing changes. We found out that they wanted a neighborhood crime watch, so we helped them to create it. We found out that they wanted a group of people to lead the charge in their community, so we helped them develop a community organization. When they were looking for funding sources, we told them, hey, maybe you should talk to Walmart or other businesses, and they did. And when they started seeing these successes, things really started to change. People always talk about the weaknesses, but you can't build off of a weakness. You build off of a strength. We empower people to take a lead role in their own lives. There are a lot of people who are like, you guys could be well off in DC or Boston or New York City. Why would you go to the Delta? That's where we want to be. And I think a lot of people now are starting to realize that we really do love it there and that it is where we belong. Are you really buying a house down there? We are. We, uh, we just put a down payment on it, actually, just about last week. So, yeah. See, I like that. See, that's, <laughs> that's that long-term <laughs> that that long long commitment. commitment. One of the biggest things for me is to make sure that we don't use the Delta as a war story that we actually go there and we stay until we make an impact. We're not an organization staying there to give continuous service. We want to empower people to serve themselves, to serve their community, and to lead themselves to their own goals.